everybody and welcome to Bird Stadium in College Park, Maryland where the Demon Deacons hosted or went to the Maryland Terrapins home. Let's get started. First quarter action, 9-12 in the first quarter. Third and 14 and it's going to be a little dump off to DeAndre Martin. However, he would be four yards shy and the Demon Deacons go three and out. So now Maryland's turn at home, second and 15. That is Nigel King there, third and six. Maryland likes to play that fast-paced, no-huddle, Chip Kelly style of offense, as every other team does in college. It's very interesting. And on third and six, let's see what happens. That's Young finding his receiver, Laverne Jacobs. However, they are three yards short, so Maryland punting. Now Wake Forest is second drive, second and 11, Tyler Cameron rolling, and that's almost picked off by Jeremiah Johnson. The Terrapin safety covering well on the receiver, Matt James there for the Demon Deacons. So now third and 11, put your noggins on its thinking time. What are they going to run? Well, they want to go four verticals. Cameron slides the line to the left, and a halfback dump off if we need it, but... Matt James, the Megatron of Wake Forest, is going to make a nice catch. And it's first and ten, Demon Deacons. So now the Demon Deacons are rolling as we see a replay of that catch. But it would not end there. Third and 11 once again this time. They want to try and play it safe. DeAndre Martin up the middle. That's 14, 15 yards on the rush. Down in Maryland Territory. Third and seven after a couple more passes. Cameron looking, looking, looking. Gets hit hard, but luckily the ball does come out. And it was ruled in incompletion. So fourth and seven for the Demon Deacons. Send the special team unit out for a field goal. This one, it is up and good. Chad Headland, 3 nothing Demon Deacons. Studio update, Miami, you know it. 10 nothing over to the Pittsburgh Panthers? I just went brain dead. 10 nothing Miami over Pittsburgh. And Miami, for them, they are number 10 in the nation and also undefeated in the ACC. So now 2nd and 10, Maryland trying to answer right back. And that's what they're going to do. P.J. Gallo, a deadly tight end, out of the slot wherever he needs to be. He's like a Kelsey or Gronkowski for Maryland and college. Give off to Wes Brown. Here's player to watch. He gains five right there. And the Terrapins still running that no huddle offense like they generally like to do. They're down to the Wake Forest three yard line. Let's see what happens. Third and goal. Wake Forest not set. Men out of position. That's what's going to happen. Wes Brown touchdown. Excuse me. Maryland goes up 6 3. Pending PAT. PAT up by the Maryland kicker. Daily the holder, and it's good. 7-3. Terrapins lead at home. But from there, Wake Forest would not go down quietly. Third and three for the Demon Deacons. Actually, it's not Tyler Cameron. It's Kevin Souza after Tyler Cameron had a mild concussion would be out for the rest of the game. Kevin Souza would lead the Demon Deacons down this drive for the rest of the game. All the way down to the Maryland 7 before... Throwing a negative one yard rush or one yard pass, excuse me, to Anthony Rook, our tight end. And it's fourth and goal. So now Maryland up 7 3. Let's cut that lead even more 7 to 6. That was Chad Headland with an iffy field goal that does slide in. Back to Pittsburgh and Miami. Miami, 10th ranked in the nation, 1 0. Pittsburgh is as well, but Miami. You know it. 17-10 heading into halftime. Just about two minutes left. Let's go do another game. Duke, Kansas. In Raleigh, North Carolina. Duke coming up strong. 31-24. Six and a half left. Keep your eye on that game as well. Now, it's going to be Young, the Maryland quarterback, finding his man, Stephon Diggs. On first down, on second down, down to the goal line. So first and goal, Wake Forest. Again, not set, man out of position. 
And it's PJ Gallo looking like Gronkowski even more and more every time we say his name. Down to the wake for six. No huddle, Young. Again, PJ Gallo, and this time he's in untouched. Allen Ramsey, you're not going to do anything with that young man. So 14 to 6, Maryland at the half. And from there, things would snowball into something worse. Let's pick things up. First and 10, 9 33, third quarter action, second half action. It's Young and the Terrapins finding long, and long is gonna go long. For a touchdown, everyone can't catch him. And it's a touchdown, Maryland. Ricardo Young, he had a huge day. There you see two touchdowns already. He would add one more. And uh, it would be a bad day for Wake Forest. So 21-6, Maryland. Let's snowball that even more. First and goal for the Terrapins down to Wake Forest 5. It's Young faking out the secondary of Wake Forest, Stiff Barman, and Ricardo Young. There you go, young man. Third touchdown of the game. It would get bloody red as the Maryland uniforms come out and the players come out and score again. So Miami, again back to this game. 24-10 Miami lead running away just like Maryland is. Can either team, Pittsburgh or Wake Forest, make a comeback? Well, on second and 11, it's Ricardo Young again. Going deep to Long. Long, second touchdown right there. Ricardo Young, we said he was a receiver. Yeah, we were lying. He was a quarterback, and that is touchdown number four so Maryland 35 6 after winning or after leading the half 14 to 6 they've come out strong but Wake Forest they want something to prove in this is Leonard Williams had to think of the name really quick he takes it all the way 103 yards 53 seconds left in the third and Jonathan Williams not Leonard Williams that's his brother Takes it all the way and Wake Forest is on the board, but to this point they are down 30. They need two-point conversions. They need defensive stop. They need everything under the sun. And with this defense, can't play in that no huddle the way they want to. It's going to be hard. Two-point conversion, no good. Kevin Souza, way off target. Maryland will continue to add and add and add scores. We didn't want to show you that. It would get really ugly. So Maryland comes out a winner at Bird Park here in College Park, Maryland. 48-12. Wake Forest goes scoreless in the third quarter remaining and the fourth. Ricardo Young, four total touchdowns. Give him the player of the game. ESPN and Sports Center. That's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Ben JT Plays. Hopefully you guys enjoyed even though Wake Forest is now 1-2. and two. But... Stay tuned for more Wake Forest football coming at you next week in week number four. Take care. See you later, guys. Happy weekend.